All right, what's going on, mates? Welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster, and we start off with a tease of what could have been. Uh, this is a pier I worked on for a few hours, but ultimately decided I didn't really like the look of, but I just thought, since a lot of people were asking me to build a pier, this is what that could have potentially looked like, but, looked liked, but, you know, I, I just didn't end, I didn't like the way, it, the aesthetics of it. So I scrapped it, and in this episode, we're going to be working on the racetrack, which, um, you can kind of see it nestled underneath the Artemis in that picture there, but not really. But we're going to build it here, nestled underneath the Artemis. So I started out by just getting the uh, pre-built racetrack that comes with the game, just to get a little bit of inspiration, try and get a sight, try and get a sense of the scale and how it would look underneath the roller coaster. And armed with said inspiration, we are now ready to begin construction of our own. So we started with a nice little straight before going into a kind of nice uh, high-speed bend. Then going through a few sort of chicane movements, weaving in and out. Uh, I then discovered you could add a fence, so I thought I'd just add the fence there. And we'll do a quick sort of, you know, slalom part there. Track can narrow down a bit, so people have to sort of reduce their speed a bit, making things a bit more hectic, a bit more, a bit more exciting. Uh, and we'll do a nice sort of sharp turn here, just because we need to get back to the station. And we're pointing the wrong way at the moment. Back to the station, is that really the best word? Back to the, back to the pit stop, back to the start line, back to the... Back to the checkered flag, we'll call it. Um, then we can just smooth out the whole thing, make it sort of, I guess, smooth. Uh, there isn't really a good synonym for that. Um, but I kind of wanted the idea, I kind of like the idea of making this turn a little bit sharper, just to, you know, add a bit more. We've got the speedy sections, it'd be nice to have a balance that out with some slower sections as well. And then we can just start building on the scenery. So I was actually quite pleased with the way this scenery ended up turning out. Uh, we kind of went for a very classic old school Old school, just kind of a classic racing grid. So we're going to be building a big spectator stand. Non-functional, unfortunately. Maybe um, if I were a better player at this game, I would have figured out a way of integrating benches into the spectator stand so that it was actually functional. But this is purely for aesthetic purposes, unfortunately. Um, but there you go, because we've got kind of the race control tower there. And then we'll just build a little structure next to it uh, for the actual you know, ride operator to sit in. And we'll branch across, we'll bridge across using some, you know, some kind of fiberglass. Is that fiberglass or steel? I don't know. Uh, and there we are, NVIDIA Game Ready Driver available. Didn't even notice that was uh, in the footage till far too late on into recording, so that's going to be there for a little while, unfortunately. I say a little while, about 10 seconds, but, you know, I know some of you might have been cringing whilst, that, whilst watching that and seeing it not disappear. Um... But I'm sure most of you are used to the sensation of cringing watching this entire series, so it can't have been that much of an odd phenomenon. Anyway, so there's a no we've got a nice little start to the finish uh, to the start line so far. At this point, I kind of became quite apathetic, and I was like, "This is just I, I, just, I just won the station that these guys had." So I ended up placing the default one at the default one of the pre-built tracks and just copied the station from this. So the one that Frontier themselves made. We'll change it up, we'll spice it up a little bit, add our own flavour to it, so I'll get rid of the kind of decorative features, but we'll keep the actual red framework because I just like the way that looked. So yeah, we'll just, there we are, we'll add our own shapes, but I think we've got a nice sort of core, well, we'll delete a few other things, we've got a nice core here so far, a nice base structure to add our own scenery and theming to, so we can start by adding this planet coaster sign up here. I, this is one of the things I don't like about the game, how most, a lot of the custom signs are just the words planet coaster. It'd be really nice if you could change the text on those sorts of things, because then that could make a really nice, you know, the logo for your theme park could be like that. So I got around the issue by, you know, occluding the planet coaster text with a custom sign, and it ended up looking not too bad, actually. But it would, I think it would be nice, especially the big plain blue text signs, to be able to change the text. Maybe there's just that's just not physically possible because it's the way it's modelled, like the actual text is part of the model. I don't, I don't, I know nothing about, I know nothing about making video games, so you know, <laughs> uh, people are more than happy to enlighten me as to why they might not have been able to do that. But it would have been nice, I think. Anyway, that's the main station itself. Doing a quick pan around. Uh, I didn't, yeah. So we can just we've got all the things I want. I didn't want to just steal everything from that from that scenery there. So we ended up deleting the rest of the pre bit one, and we'll just do the rest. We'll do the rest live. <laughs> do the rest ourselves. So I kind of had in my head what I kind of wanted to have. Just a classic spectator stand. You know, the kind of one that you're probably thinking of right now. The kind you see at sort of like the side of the Nürburgring or Silverstone or the kind of thing that goes around uh, NASCAR tracks. I actually really like the idea of NASCAR. I've never... 
I know as a European, uh, that's kind of a blasphemous thing to be endorsing NASCAR, but that sound, it sounds like a, a cool thing to go and watch like as a day out. Like I've never I've never seen any race live, but I think F1 is a more it would be is a more exciting thing to watch on TV because a lot more can is going on. There's more corners. The actual memorization of the course is a huge factor. But NASCAR, like NASCAR, I think on the other hand would be pretty boring to watch on TV. But if you're watching it live, that really really appeals to me because you can see the whole track and the entire. I know there are certain tracks like Indianapolis and is that Indianapolis where there's kind of the big island in the middle. Obviously, it's not every every NASCAR track, but uh, for the most part. You can see the entire course from where you're sitting, so you can see every car at every point in time. And I don't know. I think just the live atmosphere of always being able to see the cars and just I don't know. Maybe 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 I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it isn't like that. But to me, it just seems like it'll be a really fun thing to go and watch. Potentially more more fun than F1, just because F1 is really exciting for the ten seconds that the cars are going past you, and then it's just another minute or so of just sitting around watching an empty track, waiting for the cars to come. I don't know. Maybe it's not like that for watching F1 either. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But you can see here we've built a nice stand out of the geometric shapes there. Uh, those, like I say, so obviously peeps, guests wouldn't actually sit on that, but I think it turned out pretty nice just from an aesthetic pe feature point of view. You know, maybe we fill the stand up just on special occasions, like then there's actual race going on, as if we would ever have actual races going on. But you know, maybe. Maybe we have a tournament, so the best time set by people over the year. They all come back with a free ticket and they have a big end of season race. I don't know. I'm just thinking of ideas. <laughs> I'm just rambling, really, just trying to fill the time and make this whole thing a lot less uh, boring. Um, <laughs> probably failing miserably, miserably, but there we go. So, yeah, I decided just to take this entire structure and just clone it across. It'd be far easier than just copying, you know, segments of it. And then we'll just take the fence we built and duplicate that to the end. And across, obviously, the back as well. And then we'll just seal off the seal off the end. But there we go. We've got a pretty nice structure there. I did notice that we were kind of clipped in. It was making that weird glitchy effect. So I moved the roof up and just shifted the pillars up one stack, one level. <laughs> uh, half a meter, is that a quarter of a meter? I'm not, I can't remember what grid size I have. I can't really read it on Cinevay because I've got a very small, very small blurry preview. I can't really see the figures. So yeah, I was really happy with those turn up. I thought, you know, the back needs some work. So I thought about adding billboards. Uh, but then I noticed that by sheer luck, I had made it the exact length of the Planet Coaster logo. So I thought, ah, what a perfect backing. And I think that turned out pretty nicely, actually, um, as an aesthetic look. Not even just the stands, but everything just together. I was quite pleased with how this raceway turned out. Obviously, we can spice up the actual track itself. But, you know, as a as a sort of... We've nearly, basically, near, this is quite a short episode relative to the others. We've not, we're not too far off the end. I was trying to think of a way of splitting this episode up because next episode we're going to be building another big roller coaster. So I thought about combining the two, kind of like how we combined the building of Revenge and Argus. Um, but I kind of, I kind of, I kind of don't, I don't want either the racetrack or the big roller coaster to be overshadowed by anything else. So I thought I'll just split them into two videos. Um, so sorry this video is a little bit shorter than perhaps the other Planet Coaster videos so far. Maybe you prefer it that way. I noticed I'd left the sort of the water spout that was part of the champagne feature on the original thing. There's Artemis going around its loop. Um, but yes, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Um, just going to say that right now. And yeah, we're going to just... Some, I think trees are often the, a nice way to make things look a little bit better. Uh, but we can add a few sort of landscaping and rock formations as well, just to make the thing a little bit more interesting. So I thought for this part here, for this corner, it'd be nice to make a sort of a natural bridge, so to speak, like out of rocks and things. I know it doesn't look very natural, but, you know, out of natural resources. And I think it looks quite nice. Just a, just a little feature that people, that guests can sort of appreciate as they're driving along, driving along this lovely scenic route and... Uh, yeah, we can do a bit of land terraforming as well. Not land landscaping terraforming. I guess that I guess it's both. Um, both both terms could describe what we're doing right now. But yeah, I didn't want to go too overboard because um, well, no reason. I just didn't want to go too overboard. <laughs> and I thought whilst we're at it, we may as well just add a few hills and things so that the riders of the Artemis, the yellow ride, are a little bit closer to the ground in parts because that was always my favourite part of air or Galactica, as it's now called at Alton Towers, in that it's not a particularly exciting ride, but you're, like, constantly falling so close to the ground that that's what makes it really fun, which is why I thought it was an odd choice to make that a virtual reality roller coaster, but I guess, 
you know, there's always the option to just not wear the goggles. Anyway, we can do a few finishing touches like adding street lamps, which is not the most enthralling thing to watch, so I'm not showing that in its entirety. We can see kind of the process there of just duplicating and offsetting. And then we can do a few other extras that I needed sort of doing, like a few, you know, just sort of house cleaning, like fixing the fact that there's no supports for the um, Emporium Raceway track that I didn't really notice until just, you know, happening upon it. I was like, oh, that looks kind of dumb how this track is completely unsupported here. So I made some pretty horrible custom supports. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and save face here. They're not very good. I probably should have used the uh, the cylindrical girder, but whatever. And I thought I'd add another another similar style support just here. But yeah, like I say, I was very... This is the first park I've built where I actually try and use scenery. So sometimes you might see me doing things of questionable method that perhaps, you know, a different kind of scenery piece would have been more appropriate or something. But I was just trying to learn the ropes as, or learn the girders. <laughs> that, I don't know if that really works, but, you know, so to speak. So, But I don't think it looks too bad. I don't think it looks too bad at all. So yeah, that's pretty much the important race where that's as much as work as we're going to do on that, I think. And then we did a few other bits of cleaning up. I thought it looked a bit nicer in the end to just not have the lettering uh, obscured by those pillars. Uh, yeah, just really tested it again with it, with them and uh, definitely preferred it without. And, uh, well, I'd say that's pretty much it done. So we can do a few sort of things like adding the checkered flag, or checkered banner. So I kind of created it out of the two flags, shifted it down to make sure it was lined up to the lights so then we know it's central. Um, but... Yeah, like I've, I feel like I've said this twice now, but uh, that's pretty much the go-kart track finished. So other than that, I guess you guys would like to see a POV, so we'll quickly cut to that now. Do I... Shall I talk over this, or would you prefer it in silence? Um, and we're off! So I guess I'm, I guess I'm talking for this bit. Uh, this is very quiet. Let's just quickly add a volume layer. Yes, I'm editing the video as I'm recording what of it um but yeah you may have noticed that the park is actually finished when i'm recording this i never actually filmed a pov as i was building it so you may notice buildings or rides in the backgrounds that you know don't haven't haven't existed in this series thus far uh, it doesn't matter like you, you don't see too much of them and you know unless you go freeze framing you're not gonna really learn anything from it so it's fine and in a way it's kind of nice to be able to see kind of the surrounding scenery that the guests see when they're riding it oh when they're riding it when they're driving around it yeah there's a more than one lap but i guess i guess you guys have kind of got the gist of this now so we can just skip ahead to the outro screen so again i apologize this was a slightly shorter episode maybe maybe you prefer it being a shorter episode i don't know but regardless it was a shorter episode on screen now the left hand one is the previous episode one on the right is the next episode if the next episode isn't out it's just a link to the playlist and other than that, uh, links to Twitter, Discord, Patreon are all in the description. And have a great day and enjoy any videos that you choose to watch after this.